Hello everyone, today we try with Chaos Vintage and I have something I want to share with you. For the render engine, I usually use the Corona and V-Ray render. And I use it for my project every day. So, if you guys like me and you want to know how to transfer your file to Chaos Vintage and we can continue keep working with this, this video is made for you. So, let's start with the first one. How to transfer the Corona file or the V-Ray file to the Chaos Fantasy. I got this file today. It's from one of my students and he used the Corona render engine for this one. Okay, and this is the quality we got. And the first thing you need to do is change the Corona render to the V-Ray GPU render. And because the Ventas is only work with V-Ray this time, so we need to convert everything from this scene to V-Ray. Right now, I use the basic converter, but I recommend you guys to use this one. The V-Ray Max Converter Pro. It just works better. Okay, back to this one, and let's hit the convert. Okay, turn off all of these things. And we need to convert the camera too. Okay, let's test the render. And everything looks good. Next, we need to export our file to the very scene. Don't worry. This is the last one we need to do before we can work with the Vantage. We set the direction, it's box, and we're good to go. Now we open the Chaos Vantage. After it's open, we go to File and click Import or Fury Scene. We have some options here. The camera, the geometry, line, material. Just keep all these things and just import. We click on this one, very cam one, and this is our view. Right here, you still have some similar tool like the Trace Mac. From the left, we have the camera, the port production, and the render tab. From the right, you have the line the material and the object tab. You still can look and moving around like this and the result is very fast. And sometimes if you're moving around and you can't find the way back, click this one and you back to the VR camera. Okay, now focus on this icon. It works just like the interactive render. When you don't click, it pause your render. Beside us, you can see your frame per second and your GPU VRAM use. Click again and you back on the interactive. We still got some very basic tools like I said before. you moving, the rotation, or the scale. It's very simple, so I will skip this one. But beside us, you can find some very useful things like this. The creep overlay. It keep with some tool to help us to improve our composition or up our render. It's very useful. Now we jump on the camera tab. The first we got the resolution preset in here. Set it lower and it make our render have less detail, but it improve the frame per second and decrease the VRAM too. Set it in here and we have a lot of detail back, but it decrease the frame per second and more VRAM used too. So, I just keep it like this. Now 
we still cast the focal length, the ISO, the F number, and the shutter speed. We don't have much thing to say into this one, so let's keep this one too. And sometimes, if you're moving around and you found some some good angle, and you want to set up a new camera, you can click on this icon, and you got the new camera. If you click on the cam one, you back on the cam one. Okay, let's try to make another one, and it's very fast. You can easy to file out your good camera angle and you don't need to wait or render. Okay, now we have the camera. So, how we can set up the lighting? We go into this one, the environment mode and select the physical sky. By the way, when you select the sky, you also have the vintage sun. And you can see. We have a little icon for the direction of the sun in right here. Now change this one and we got the sun position lower or higher. And this one he rotate. Now we use this one to find a good direction. And after that to make the sun lower so I can light up or run me better. And one more time, we can see the result instantly. It's beautiful, right? With this, I think we can easy to choose the good lighting angle, which out the waiting time for render. And this is our sun and sky. So, how about HDRI? We need to change the environment mode to the texture and don't forget to turn off the sun. After that, we choose the HDR. And this is our HDR. One more time, rotate it to find a good angle, or let's change another one. Okay, I think this one will look better. Okay, let's change to another camera angle and let's see can we find a good lighting too. And as you see, our lighting test now is very easy. Okay, now the material. This is our material tab. And right here, we got the wrong material surface as you can see. I just need to click on this one, Guess Masturo. We drag and drop to this, and we're done. And one more note, as long as we don't release the mouse button, and it's not apply or no survey. But that's all we can do with the Masturo right now. If you want to UV or mixing Masturo, or control the reflection, we can do this right now. Okay, and I think that's all I can share with you guys right now. I hope you like this, and I see you guys with another video of the test. And thank you.